This is the sad story of Kelvin Ibrahim, a promising young Nigerian footballer that was shot to death by the police in the UK. This incident happened on Saturday, the 26th of June, 2021, in Milton Keynes, Buckinghamshire, England. To say that Kelvin Ibrahim was shot by the police because he killed his neighbor and was about to harm a two-year-old boy. His family has, however, refused to accept the justification of his killing. Before the death of Kelvin Ewan, he was born to a rich family in Enugu, and he had been traveling to the UK for holidays and football camps as a young boy. But he always comes back to Nigeria. When he finished his primary and secondary school education in a private school that was owned by his grandparents, he moved to the UK to pursue his dreams of becoming a professional football player and it was going well until his death in 2021. On the day of the incident, at about 9.40 am, some neighbors reported that they heard a commotion coming from an apartment and that they heard someone screaming. A 38 year old neighbor named Mr. Richard rushed to the scene of the incident not knowing that he was not going to make it out alive. Richard was reportedly beaten to death by Kelvin Iguani using the dumbbell he used in doing his workouts. When two armed police officers finally arrived at the scene, they had to force their way into Mr. Kelvin Iguani's house where they found the dead body of Mr. Richard. They also saw Kelvin who they said was aggressive towards them and they had to use a taser on him two times. But the taser had no effect on him because he was a very huge and muscular young man. Kelvin was then said to have run into the bedroom with a two-year-old child who was reportedly injured and the police had to break into the bedroom where they shot him four times and rescued the child. The family of Kelvin Ibani being a family filled with lawyers did not accept that their son and grandson was killed lawfully. They demanded for an inquest which was an investigation into the details of how and why he was killed. During the inquest, the courts found out that Mr. Richard was unlawfully killed by Kelvin. However, in the inquest of how Kelvin Iguani was shot, it was discovered that one of the police officers lied that Kelvin Iguani charged towards them with a knife. But when the video footage from his body cam was played, it was discovered that Kelvin Iguani had no weapon on him. It was also discovered that one of the police officers bent down and punched Kelvin several times on the face after he had been shot four times instead of calling for an ambulance for him and for the injured child. The lawyer of Kelvin's family went as far as asking the police officers why they did not try to reason with him, but he said he was more worried about the child's safety. The inquest of Kelvin Iwani's shooting is still ongoing, but the truth is that no matter the outcome of the inquest, it's not going to bring back Kelvin or Mr. Richard. The case of Kelvin is very sad and tragic because he was about to sign a major contract with Borussia Dortmund Football Club in the Bundesliga. This is the type of situation where Nigerians would say that his village people had a hand in his death because he had been living and playing football in Europe for many years without having any problems. His plan was to bring his grandmother who was living in Nigeria to come and live with him in Europe after he signs the contract. He wanted her to stop stressing herself because she was the one running her school in Nigeria. Sadly, all his football dreams and talents died with him on that day, but not for his family back in Nigeria, as they decided to open a football academy in his name. 